Hello and welcome back to our channel where we delve into intriguing radiology cases. Today we have a fascinating case to discuss. Let's jump right in. Case number 1. An elderly woman has experienced a fall and is unable to bear weight on her right hip. Let's take a look at her initial imaging. Here we have a radiograph of the pelvis. Take a moment to observe the findings. What do you see? Alright, let's analyze this together. The X-ray shows heavily calcified arteries and osteopenia but no acute bony abnormalities is visible. However, given the patient's clinical presentation, further imaging is warranted. We proceeded with coronal MRI scans, both T1 and T2 weighted sequences. Look closely at these images. What abnormalities can you identify? On the MRI, we see an irregular focus of abnormally low signal intensity on the T1 weighted image and abnormally high signal intensity on the T2 weighted image, indicating a possible fracture. The MRI findings reveal an incomplete fracture extending across the intertrochanteric region which is more evident on the T2 weighted image. This highlights the importance of MRI in detecting fractures that are not visible on plain radiographs, especially in osteopenic patients. Now, let's discuss the differential diagnosis for these findings. The most likely diagnosis is a non-displaced incomplete intertrochanteric fracture. This conclusion is based on the patient's presentation and the specific MRI signal abnormalities. An insufficiency fracture is less likely as the intertrochanteric location is not typical for this type of fracture. Metastasis is also unlikely due to the lack of lobular mass-like morphology. Here are some essential facts to remember. Non-displaced incomplete intertrochanteric and femoral neck hip fractures following a fall from a standing position are not uncommon in elderly female patients with osteopenia. The prognosis is generally better if the fragments are not displaced. MRI is crucial in cases where clinical suspicion remains high despite normal radiographic findings. Let's wrap up with some pearls and pitfalls. If a hip fracture is strongly suspected in an osteopenic patient with normal radiographic findings, limited coronal T1 and T2 weighted MRI can effectively detect fractures. Characteristic MRI findings of a fracture include irregular low T1 weighted and bright T2 weighted signal intensity. T2 weighted sequences alone may not adequately characterize the fracture due to surrounding edema or contusion. Thank you for joining us for this case discussion. Remember, thorough imaging and careful analysis are key in diagnosing fractures in osteopenic patients. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more radiology cases and tips. See you next time.